KNBC 9 Investigates is asking if the heat played a role in a child's death. The three-year-old boy fell nine stories yesterday at the Independence Towers Apartments, and there's still no word on how he died or if anyone's facing charges. But investigative reporter Matt Fleener went back to the building where dozens of windows are still open with no central air. Right around 100 degrees today, and there are more than 110 windows that are open here at the Independence Towers apartment complex. Some have portable and window ACs, but a lot of people are keeping their windows open to keep cool. It was a tragedy that could have been avoided. A three-year-old child on Monday fell out a window, nine stories at the Independence Towers, dying hours later. AC's not working in the building, so everybody all over the building has windows open in one room or two rooms of their units. This woman spoke without sharing her name. She lives right below where the boy fell. Do you feel like this was because of the heat? This is terrible. Yes, I do. I'm not going to lie. Officials are still investigating the exact cause, but even after Monday's tragedy, dozens of windows are still open and unsecured. We checked. The city of Independence has only received one official complaint this year about the lack of air conditioning. But KMC Not Investigates found if you want to complain in Independence against your landlord about AC or any other issues, you have to fill out a form, provide a copy of a lease, and give photo identification. Do you find it intimidating to go forward to the city with your complaints? I found it redundant. I find it redundant. Uh, so it, it may seem a little redundant, but it but it's it's that process so that uh, we can follow the necessary steps. After KBC's questions, Independence's community development manager said he's open to reviewing easier ways for residents to complain about their landlords, especially when it comes to air conditioning. The mayor did too. As a mayor and a council, we'll look at that and see what's what's going on. And we'll keep checking with city officials on that. Meanwhile, we've also reached out to the court appointed landlord who's responsible for this property now multiple times today and over the past few months. We've yet to hear a response, but that doesn't mean we're done asking questions. Matt Fleener, KMBC 9 News. We have spent the summer trying to make sure that central air and other issues are fixed, and we're keeping track of those stories, which you will find by going to the Investigates tab of KNBC.com.